We're going to do tessellations of a parallelogram by rotation. Parallelograms are easy enough to cut on um, a paper cutter. You can just cut strips that are maybe two inches wide. And then if you put some blue masking tape along the paper cutter uh, on an angle, you can follow that angle to get parallel cuts to cut these strips down into smaller pieces. So first thing we need to do is find the center of each of the sides of our parallelogram. So I cut this to be two by three inches or close enough to it. So I use my ruler, measure up. So if it's two inches long, one is halfway. Three inches long, one and a half. Two inches long should be one. And three inches long again, and one and a half. So my first cut is going to go from the middle of any of the sides and it's going to go to an adjacent corner. So I could go to this corner or I could go to this corner. It doesn't really matter. And I want to have a cut that's got something going on in it, uh, but not too complicated. So that's what I'm going to cut out. Grab my scissors. And if it's not perfect on the line, you don't need to really worry about it. It's the cut edge that matters more than the drawn line. Take that piece, line it back up, and then it's going to rotate around that center mark. Just rotate it around. And then I grab a little bit of tape and tape that in there. Okay. So next, uh, I'm going to figure out one of these other corners. So I'm going to go from here. I have to go from a center mark and I can go to anywhere along the edge um, that I would like to. So for this one, I'm gonna go in, and then I'm gonna make another wave going that way. Again, not worrying too much about being perfect, just getting the idea down. Now, I didn't have to go down to the corner. I could go anywhere to the cut edge from corner to corner, anywhere along the cut edge, and I decide to go to a corner. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate that around that center mark. And then I can go ahead and tape that in. Again, making sure there are no gaps and no overlaps. And if the tape goes over the edge, just go ahead and you can cut off that extra with a scissor if you like. Just making, that, making sure that you're not hurting your tessellation at all. Okay. So next one, um, I'm gonna go from this center mark and I'm going to go to somewhere along the cut edge. Doesn't really matter where. So this time, I'm gonna go up like that. See how that fell down. So I gotta make sure it does match up because sometimes it'll flip. And then that's that middle mark. So I go ahead and rotate that around and then I reconnect it. Again, making sure that there are no gaps or overlaps. And then my last one, here's my center mark. I need to go somewhere along my line. So for this one, I'm gonna go over it back up, let it rotate around that center mark, and I reconnect it. So now I have my tessellation piece from a parallelogram. I'm going to do this one more time. I have one that's already pre-marked with my centers. This time I'm not going to draw. I'm going to go ahead and make my marks. Now I have to go from the corner mark and my first cut has to go into a corner.
rotates around that center mark. Go ahead and connect it. Next, I'm going to go from this one to somewhere along the cut edge. my center mark, so I'm going to rotate around that point. Tape that in. Fold over that little bit. I'm going to take from the center mark here. So sometimes that'll happen. Uh, that just proves that the tessellation is working. Okay. So now that's a piece that will tessellate uh, infinitely and start with a parallelogram.